What's up guys, Landon here with LMR.com. In today's this video, we'll cover my overview and install of SVE's electric fan conversion kit fitting your 1979 to 1993 Fox Body Mustang. For years, SVE products have made a name for themselves manufacturing quality Mustang components all without emptying your wallet in the process. From lighting, performance, cosmetics, and wheels, SVE continues to produce some of the best Mustang parts available on the Mustang market. All right, fellas, this SVE electric fan conversion kit is intended for two different applications. If you've already upgraded to our SVE radiator, then this kit is for you. On the flip side, this kit will also work if you're running a stock radiator and wanting to ditch the factory clutch fan. By getting rid of the belt-driven fan, you will free up horsepower since you're reducing parasitic drag from the drive belt. This SVE kit will include an aluminum shroud with two 12-inch fans, controller, thermostat housing with a 3 8 port for the temperature probe, housing gasket, aluminum overflow tank, and our exclusive housing hardware made by ARP. The two 12-inch fans flow 933 CFM or cubic feet per minute, which totals 1,833 combined. This shroud itself is 19 inches high, 24 inches long, and 3 quarters inch deep from the back of the fan to the far edge of the shroud. This fan setup is perfect for stock cars or cars that are rocking a few bolt-ons. When converting to an electric fan setup, you obviously need a controller. We include a high quality Durrell controller, which can be adjusted from 150 to 240 degrees. It is designed for single or dual fan setups, features an AC override circuit, and has a 3 8 NPT water jacket thread and sending unit. All needed hardware for installation is included in the box, along with basic instructions. The other components will consist of the aluminum overflow tank, which can be mounted however you choose. New thermostat housing, which features a 3 8 inch port for the controller's temperature sending unit, housing gasket, and our exclusive housing hardware made by ARP. All right guys, follow along as I walk you through the steps on installing this SV electric fan kit and this Fox Mustang. Begin installation by disconnecting the negative battery cable. Remove the radiator cover. Remove the two bolts securing the fan shroud to the radiator. Loosen the four bolts on the water pump securing the clutch fan. To help with reassembly of the water pump pulley, it may be in your best interest to release tension on the belt. Push the fan toward the radiator carefully to free it from the water pump shaft. Pull the shroud up and then position it out of the way. Now you can remove the clutch fan from the car. Before removing the shroud and overflow tank, if equipped, disconnect the overflow tank line from the top of the radiator. Since we will be installing a new thermostat housing, go ahead and drain roughly a gallon of coolant. Loosen the hose clamp on the upper radiator hose and then remove the hose from the thermostat housing. Next, remove the hose clamp securing the bypass hose to the water pump and thermostat housing. Remove the two thermostat housing to intake manifold bolts. And then remove the hose and housing. Take this time to thoroughly clean the intake manifold with a gasket scraper and brake clean. Apply thread sealer to the included temperature probe and then thread it into the 5.0 resto thermostat housing. Carefully tighten the probe with a 3 quarters wrench. Use a new thermostat and lightly dab three small dots of the silicone on the housing. This will help hold the thermostat in place as you reposition it back onto the intake manifold. Make sure the bleed hole is toward the top of the housing and at the 12 o'clock position. Apply a few small dabs of silicone to the gasket and then center the gasket on the housing. Position the thermostat housing back into place and use the included exclusive 5.0 Resto hardware to secure it to the manifold. Torque the bolt to 13 and a half pound feet. Reposition the bypass hose and tighten the clamps. Run the temperature pros wire along the plug wire and out of the way for now. We will address this later. Once the factory overflow tank fan shroud and fan are out of the way, position the fan shroud into place. Since an aftermarket radiator is already in the car, we chose to use a few speed clips and bolts that were laying around. Tighten down the hardware. Now begin preparing the electric fan controller. Plug the main harness into the controller. We chose to mount the controller at the top corner of the fan shroud on the driver's side. Plug in the relay and then use the included screws to secure it to the shroud. For added safety, we added a 30 amp inline fuse to the three foot free floating red power wire included in the kit. If you go this route as well, simply use a butt connector to join the single three foot wire 
and then a ring terminal on the other side of the fuse wire, which will go to the starter solenoid. If you don't go this route, simply splice the ring terminal onto the end of the three foot single red wire included in the kit. Loosen the nut on the battery side of the solenoid and slide the ring terminal over the stud and then re-tighten the nut. Use another included ring terminal for the black wire on the harness. Ground this to the headlight ground by the battery. Use some convoluted tubing to hide the wires. Plug in the temperature probe. Secure the fan harness to the blade covers. Now cut the pre-installed connectors. Splice the wires and twist them together. Make sure blue is with blue and black is with black. Use a butt connector to splice the color covered wires. The red wire from the controller will go with the black wire on the fans. The red wire from the solenoid or the three foot single wire that was included in the fan controller kit will go with the blue wire on the fans. Use the included quick crimp to splice the green wire from the controller to the yellow AC wire. Quick crimp the yellow wire from the controller to the 12 volt ignition source on the main harness leading to the firewall or from the fuse box inside of the car. Tidy up all of the wiring and then mount the included overflow tank wherever you would like. Then run your overflow hose to the overflow tank from the radiator. Before starting up and testing for operation, be sure and replace the coolant that you drained out in the beginning of the install. Now go ahead and drive the car around the block and get it to operating temperature. Get out and then double check the fans. At this point, if you want to change the temperature turn on setting, simply remove the rubber plug on the, on the controller and use a flathead screwdriver to make your adjustment. Other than that, double and triple check your work and you're all finished. As far as installation goes, fellas, I would honestly allow yourself about two to three hours from start to finish. That could possibly be overshooting this one a little bit, but it, it is in your best interest to work as slow and precise as you can. If you guys wanna see more informative videos, then subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. While you're at it, head back over to the site and pick up a SVE electric fan conversion kit for your Fox Mustang from the real Fox enthusiasts at Lamar.com.